Did you know that we're 24 days away from my birthday? Yeah, the big 31 is on the way, and uh, yeah. What you guys getting me? I, I hope it's I hope it's something wonderful, by the way. I'm really spicing up this crap shit of a year. So, what if Konami did this, this 2020 season? Let's dig on into this, shall we? What if Konami got me a birthday present? No. So today's discussion is going to be focused predominantly around the 2020 Megatons. Some of the elusive secrets that we don't know anything about yet. All right, so the only thing that we know about the 2020 Megatons right now is Dragoon of the Red is in there in some capacity. Uh, I don't know if it'll be... Okay, well, first up, we're assuming at this point that there are no tin toppers. When you open up the tin, you go, oh! you know, you owe face like every other Yugi tuber out there. You're like, oh my god! Like, and you just, you, you crap everywhere, and like, you know, you don't see that on camera because I gotta clean it up, but it's amazing. So I don't think that there's gonna be any tin toppers this year, personally, but we do know Dragoon of the Red's in there. Now, what surprises could the 2020 Megatons have in store for us? And you're like, well, Robbie, I've been thinking about that all month. I don't have a clear answer for you. Okay. So, Susu yesterday on Market Watch brought up Pot of Extravagance. Now, he didn't bring it up in the context of it being a 2020 Megaton preprint, but last year, do you guys remember Boral Sword Dragon? Oh, of course we do. We literally went ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. Eh? Didn't Engage go ba-ding, ba-ding, too? Yeah, yeah. Engage got double printings back to back. I don't know how many of you guys remember that, but we did go ding ding, you know, straight back to back reprints. So I was I was honestly thinking about it at this point. I'm like, honestly, Pot of Extravagance might be that next ding ding double printing right around the corner. You're like, well, you know, last year it was in Battles of Legend. This year it wasn't. So I'm kind of wondering if we will see Pot of Extravagance in the Megatons. Quite honestly, full disclosure here, we need that, all right, like, a lot. We need a very easy, accessible Pot of Extravagance at this point. And I, I can't butter up any other easier way than say, hey, Konami, you know you're already gonna make a lot of money on your Megatons, all right, let's be honest. You put Dragoon of the Red in there, all right? You know that players, are going to rush in there and they're going to want to play Dragoon. Now, has, has Dragoon been power crept yet? All right, that's, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so honestly, you got Dragoon of the Red in here. Do you really need to put Pot of Extravagance in the Megatons? Well, absolutely you do. Little Timoth Timothy M McTimberson over here can't afford that. And I would like an extra couple of play sets for every other bad deck that I would like to play. So, wouldn't it be great, wouldn't it? It'd be great if you could reprint Pot of Extravagance. All right. Oh, well, this is a Megaton discussion video. So, sub note, discussion point A here. Has Dragoon of the Red been power crept yet? The Numeron engine would like to have a word with you out back, all right, as to uh, if that engine has been power crept yet or not. Smile. So, whether secrets lie, in the 2020 Megatons. Well, you notice they didn't talk about any other imports. Okay, so we still have that, what, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Uh, I think we have a few other anime S cards that when I was looking at the initial tin design, I was like, well, you know, we're, we're just gonna fill them in as tin toppers this year. But there has not been any talk about this whatsoever. I'm also pretty sure was there talk about world exclusive cards? I believe we're getting some spicy world exclusive cards in here. Now, let's just, let's be honest here. Okay, guys. Nibiru and Dark Ruler No More were cards that were necessary evils for the game. They were cards that changed the fundamental landscape of the way that we played. They were cards that, you know, you guys aren't going to like me saying this. They were cards that we needed for the game, all right? Like... The game without Dark Ruler no more and cards without Nibiru, 
I honestly think, now the players are complaining about Nibiru, I think that things have been a lot better. So, to design future 2020 releases like this, they're going to be like, oh my god, this is going to be absurdly as overpowered as this. Uh, I don't foresee it, boo-boo. I'm going to be honest with you, comment section and subs, and my friends, my blue shirt followers. It's not going to happen. All right, we might have, we might come close, but don't get your, they can't keep printing. Well, actually, they can. Scratch that, they can keep printing powerful cards like that. All right. So, on the topic of 2020 Megatons, different rarities, check, easier to get cards. You gotta understand from like a marketing standpoint though, like, does Konami really need to put umpteen good cards in? Because Dragoon of the Red is their selling point. Like, they will list important cards in the text. Like, that's a fun fact if you guys haven't realized this. If you're looking at sets and you're like, you know, a good example of this previously was uh, Holly Fibrax. You know, a lot of people were insinuating that Holly Fibrax would be in a set where, you know, they wouldn't announce it. And then you go through all of these sets and you're like, no, they would announce Holly Fibrax. Certain cards are deemed so powerful that they are going to list them as selling points on sets, all right? Because they want you, they want your store to know, it's time to give us your money, so get your pre-orders in, all right? And then everybody else is like, Yay! Dark Magician! <laughs> I love it. It's it's great. So, yes. Selling points are an important creature to the game. Now, you, you might not believe it, but stores listing, you know, or stores, Konami listing these things on the product page when they send out those little flyers and players who, like, what do you mean Dragma's in here? I knew that. Oh, they're calling it Dogmatica now. They just put it down. That's how that works. So, in terms of development for the Megatons off of, you know, concepts like that. Okay. So, what other, what, what are we expecting, honestly, out of the tens? Like, outside of Dragoon of the Red, outside of a possible Pot of Extravagance reprint, what more do we, oh... Oh, is that Borload Savage? Oh, yeah. Huh, I forgot about him. Hmm. So if we could reprint Borload Savage in an easier to get form, that'd be great, too. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. That card has just... All right, it's spurging out more than me on a caffeine binge, all right? Like, it, it's actually kind of crazy watching that card run at least 90 laps, all right, around the track. Like... In terms of secondary market value, the card has been nuts. Now, we need to bore load Savage treatment this, or bore load uh, sort this. We need this card to be affordable. I, I can't keep saying this enough. Like, you got Lightning Storms over here in the corner going, Hi guys, I'm a hundred plus dollars. And then you got other things like Apollosas are still a lot of money. You got bore load Savages, which have been calming down as of late. All right, don't. Don't be mistaken by that, but there's a lot of... We're, we're heading into that season now where things would be heading down into a downward spiral, but there's no events right now. So if you want to pick up stuff, oh, it's almost like it'll be cheaper. After the Battles of Legend blowout, I'm honestly expecting things to be on the cheap and cheap for a little while out of the Mega Tens this year. Um... Don't be surprised if you see some of the lowest prices that you've seen in a very long time on things. I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see Dragoon not even top out at $10. Depending on how many are available and how they do it, if they do like cool pr like prismatics this year. I, I like the, the feel of like gacha rare, but like, come on guys. We, we need another gacha rare in tins. Uh, we gotta boost that value to the moon, like these sets. You've been doing wonderful as of late, like... A little bit more of a push in the right direction, I think, would be a good thing. So what if Konami made the 2020 Megatons an absolute banger? They literally... Battles of Legend was... A, uh, okay, so... Toon Chaos was a banger for the Collector's Wares. Battles of Legend was a banger for the Numeron stuff. <laughs> the Rise of the Duel sets looking like an absolute banger for the nice rarities on Dogmatica. One more banger out of those Megatons. Oh, and Ghost Rares are coming back, so the Rise of the Duelist, or the 
the raw set. Looking like a banger too. Konami, keep it up. 2020 is looking pretty nice. Guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about everything that's going on right now. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Call 40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by M. Call 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.